27th of September, 2018, at around quarter to one in the afternoon, Marlies Boyens from the Lower South Coast SPCA was busy collecting donated goods for the SPCA charity shop that she runs. As we were approaching Palm Beach area, there was this beautiful dog running alongside the road, coming in the same direction I was driving to. So um, I immediately felt that this dog was lost and I just knew that I had to stop and pick him up. The exhausted dog was easy to catch and was loaded into Marlies' vehicle and taken to the Lower South Coast SPCA's offices in Uvongo. Standard protocol is to scan any dog that is found in the hope that they have a microchip and can be reunited with their owner. What happened next was the beginning of a series of events that shows just how important it is to microchip your pets. Is that Fiona from Identity Pet? Fiona, it's Deline from the SVCA Lower South Coast. She said she had found an uh, Irish Wolfhound cross uh, Bouvier. She gave me the microchip number, so I looked it up, and it came up with uh, the client's details. I then contacted her and told her that this is the client um, that has come up with. She says that's what she has as well. The SPCA staff now had a name and number of the dog's owner. Good morning, Mr. Gerber. This is Shelley from the Lower South Coast SPCA. We've got your dog. When I said, um, what breed is it? So I told him what breed it was. So she's the Irish Wolfhound. Then I knew it's Scott. The lost dog had a name, Scott. He was very freaked out because his dog was stolen. But he didn't tell me from where. I drove to Rustenburg SPCA and I said, uh, Where's my dog? And I said, no, we, we, don't, we don't have your dog. We didn't find you. So I found the number back and then they said, no, they are in Uvongo, yeah. So <laughs> then I realized it's a bit more of a problem than, uh, than I thought. So just how did this large dog get to be nearly 900 kilometers from Rustenburg? I used to stay close to a, a dam and I used to go rowing and swimming in the dam and I used to take him with. And uh, someone picked him up, a friend of mine saw it. I didn't see it. It's about four years ago. Someone had stolen Scott, and he vanished. What made Scott's disappearance even more heartbreaking was that Werner had chosen him as a companion from the Rustenburg SPCA many years before. You know, he's, he's my only dog that I, in my grown-up life, that I actually went, I went to the SPCA, I looked for probably three, four weeks. I looked, I liked him, I took him home, and so that was like, a dog is a dog, but sometimes you've got a special dog, and he was my special dog. Now, there was an empty space in Werner's life. If I used to braai, I would sit and uh, just wish he was there. It has been four long years since Scott vanished from Werner's life. All of that is about to change. Come, Werner, let's go and here Lazan, please bring kennel 14 to reception. Kennel 14 is going home. After four long years, Banner and Scott were about to be reunited.
Scott and Verna's story highlights the importance of microchipping your pets. Who would have ever believed that a piece of technology the size of a grain of rice would result in a man and his dog being reunited after some 1,500 days? It would be the most responsible thing for any pet owner to have their dogs microchipped. Um, a collar doesn't work because whoever steals a dog actually take, removes the collar, but the microchip, you can never remove it. In a world where bad news is endemic, it is wonderful that there are still stories out there to put a smile on one's face.